It is time for America to take the next steps. We'll make steady progress. One mission, one voyage, one landing at a time. My crewmate, Neil Armstrong, took this photo of me during our Apollo 11 moon landing when we were the first humans to set foot on the magnificent desolation of the lunar surface. Hi, I'm Buzz Aldrin. Today, NASA leads America into a new era of space exploration. A new next generation vehicle will take us back to the moon and eventually on to Mars and beyond. The new vision of going back to the moon and on the Mars is significantly important to stimulating the hearts and the minds of young people. I think it's really important for, for everybody my age and younger that just didn't have the opportunity to do that, to, to push the boundaries again and, and go beyond low Earth orbit and, and do those types of things again and go even further. But this is not a repeat of Apollo. This is a next generation space explorer, able to do things never before possible. It's very exciting to, to think about um, that someone, someone of my generation could be setting foot again on the moon, setting up permanent uh, or long-term habitation on the moon, developing new technologies and setting the groundwork to go onto Mars. the ingredients in the earth moon system to develop the operational and technological mechanisms for getting to mars and to its surface and uh, i think we have to take advantage of that and that's really the operational importance of what the president has proposed to do it's important that humans go to the moon and to mars because it's part of what we do as america we've been a nation that has always had a frontier has always been expanding and if we ever stop that, I think we're going to lose something really vital to our national um, character. Missions to the space station lately have been about six months long. And everything that we learn in, in, in six months uh, of how to get along and, and uh, food usage rates and, and uh, the science program that we can do is very similar to what it's going to take to go to Mars. We think it's going to take about six months to go to Mars. But first, we'll return to the moon. And this time, we'll return to stay. Being able to live off the land on these other planets will enable us to bring more astronauts, more equipment, and stay for longer than we did during Apollo, and we'll be able to get more science and exploration done. Well, I think it's very important to get on with this exploration because I think the future of, of civilization as we know it really depends on us being able to develop these technologies. We are at a point now where we're going to have an opportunity, a chance to go to the moon. And not, as John Young would say, walk on the moon or work on the moon, but to live on the moon for an extended period of time. That's one of the most exciting things that we could ever do as a civilization. want to get to Mars, the smart way to do it is to 
develop your technologies. And what better way to develop our technologies than to go back to the moon? It's something that I always hoped would happen in my lifetime, and to see it happening now, um, to potentially be a part of it, and uh, whether it's my foot on the moon or, or one of my classmates or you know somebody from my generation is going to do it, and I just I think it's great. Great nations do great and ambitious things. We will continue to be great as the leader in this new era of space exploration. I think that it is our human destiny to explore beyond our planet, to explore our solar system, and perhaps in due course to explore the universe. It's about pushing that, that which we're passionate about, and that is space exploration. Trying to understand a little bit more about why we're here, where are we going, you know, are we alone?